Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take GNS3 and we're going to tweak your router images to load up faster. So if you're like uh, most people, you've got GNS3 and you've set up your your router images like a 2691 and uh, we'll drag one in here and let me show you how the 2691 image usually loads for most people. So dragged in a single router, I'm going to hit play I've got my GNS3 set to delay for two seconds and then I'm going to hit uh, the putty window uh, console in and you can see it's uncompressing the image all these uh, hash marks so uh, my, my laptop's pretty pretty fast it's a core i7 with 8 gigs of RAM but it still takes a little bit of time for me to get ready and this is just a single router here if, if I were dealing with eight routers it would take probably uh, one or two minutes before I'm, I'm up and running so it's still on compressing, it's still going, so we're probably at the 20 to 30 second mark here. And finally we're up, right? So you can see how long it took there. I'm going to hit the stop button to kill all that. So let's just take a look at the iOS images and hypervisors. This is how you usually have your stuff set up, right? Got your image file, you know, it's set to the 2691 idle PC is set. Hopefully your idle PC is set. Now I'm going to drag in my folder where I have all my images. You can see I've got uh, 1841, 2600, 2691. So this is the particular one we're looking at. You can see it's uh, 38 megs. The thing is all these images are compressed and you can actually uncompress them by using a standard program like WinZip or WinRAR and it's pretty easy to do. I'll demonstrate pretty quick with WinRAR. There we go. Okay. You can see, oh yes. Shareware license has expired. Okay. So uh, we're in the router image folder right there. So all you have to do is take one of these images. So let's say we want to uncompress to 2691. Inside of WinRAR, I double click on it and that is the uncompressed image you could see it's gone from 39 megs all the way up to 82 megs so it's pretty good compression and then you would just drag this out to whatever folder you wanna store it in myself I've made a uncompressed folder gee imagine that and I've just dragged out two of the images that I commonly use after you've done that close that out go back into GNS3 you're going to have to kill your 2691 default image there, so say goodbye to that. I'm going to click to find another image file, drag in my window, and I've popped it in uncompressed 2691-ad, double click, and just verifies 2691-2691, idle PC, uh, I think we'll just keep the idle PC for there, and everything looks good, I'm going to save it as the default image, there you go close out. I'm going to clear my topology, drag in the 2691, and let's see how quickly it loads. And I'm going to go back to preferences. I'm going to get rid of my two second wait timer in between loads. There we go. All right. Let's see how different it is from what we did in the first part of the video. Start console. see here it's loading up and we're up all right so definite uh, improvement in speed of loading and you can see here that uh, should should make your life a lot more enjoyable especially when you're dealing with uh, six eight ten routers or so so just a quick recap take your images open them up with Win WinRAR WinZip unzip them you know drag out the file then you'll have to go back into GNS3, go into iOS images, and make a new image. You know, associate the new image to your 2691 or whatever router. All right, thanks for watching.